Okay guys, today I'm doing another farm vlog. The first one never went out because there were two hours of footage and I didn't really feel like editing that much. I, I'm used to editing about seven minutes. But today we're bailing. Um, I didn't record the rest of it because Butch already mowed, mowed before we got here. Um, and I tetted twice with the 8 in. And you basically need two hands to drive it, so. Couldn't film that. And Butch went ahead and raked by himself, so. I just stood back and watched. But I get to bet today. And, yeah. We're doing so, our final checks. Running good. Um, Butch is just checking the baler to make sure everything's oil. We oiled it last night, but we're just checking again. Never mind. I'm in the old gator here. I'm just gonna follow him down to the field. This is kind of our repair vehicle. I'm not going to record the whole thing of bailing, but I will record some of it, primarily just because I don't want to edit a two hour long video of me bailing. I would do shooting gun vlogs, but um, A, I'm having too much fun shooting the guns to record, and B, I don't really know YouTube's terms and conditions and all that about gun videos. I actually broke one of the tethers and it broke on me last year too. But the, um, I don't even know what they're called, but the spinning arm thing hit the gearbox. Just hit a tree. Down here, 
This is corn and potatoes. I'm not sure, too sure how good the corn the corn's doing, but I know our potatoes are doing good. probably go back to doing some gaming videos and stuff later. I've just learned how to use sound effects in my editing to hopefully make the videos a little bit more enjoyable. And park. Uh, we might be doing the outside row for square bales because we have a square baler. Ow, Frick hit my head on the roof. We'll just scrap some hay here. They enjoy it. I think they think that this hay is different down here compared to hay um, that we already give. There, which goes. He does the first round like every single time. I don't know if I'm going to be the one bailing. Or I'm just gonna be on the tractor with them, but I think he's triple checking stuff. Reverse. He had the clutch go out on David Brown for the one year. And I don't know. I wasn't with him, so. This is Daisy. She could be ridden or worked. That's Rosie. Um, she can ride in line. And all the miniatures is Sweetie, Charlie, and Puddles, and Dandy all the way up there. And they're all just miniatures. I'm hoping I don't hit my head on the ceiling again. But I'll probably start. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna probably do the outside ring in square bales. I think Butch has one wagon that's not busted. Like he has a bunch of wagon frames and stuff up there. But everything else is broken. It's just got to put a uh, tire on it. They're using the tire for the sawmill. But, yeah, I'll start with it. So, this is how it looks whenever you um, release a bale out of back. It was for someone firing a gun off in the distance, because it's West Virginia. Um, everyone shoots guns here, so. Let's just go back up. Then the back opens. And out comes the bale. And he's got to pull forward, close the back, restart the baler, 
and then um, continue on this way. I think that's two bales already. Starts up just fine. The mass Ferguson. I'm over there doing. I did like, I think, three or four bales, and then I came up here, and this was like a little brown work start. So we got to get the big John Deere out, and um, so yeah, we're gonna have to move the tractor out of the way with a chain, and then we're gonna. He's a John Deere. So, I'm just gonna move the gate around here. All of us on the big John Deere. So I got the chain in the back of the gator. Oh, no thing. Deer's faster, newer, probably a little bit more reliable. The David Brown, it was built in England back in 1968 or 69, I think. It was, it's got five less horsepower than the John Deere. That is a 2010 John Deere. It's got 75 horsepower. Yeah, we only run some pretty small equipment compared to those guys over there in Europe. But a new gator the other day yesterday this is a 2012 this is a gator that much got because it was repoed by the bank and someone didn't take very good care of it so it's on its last legs and that's why we have the Polaris now 
but we still use the gator just for shuttling around everything. We'll take the Polaris if we want to go shoot guns and stuff. We'll take the Gator for doing farm work. And a tractor drives easier than the Gator, but it has power steering. The Gator doesn't. are attacking me. It's hot. It's like I think it's 85 or something out right now. Yeah, we got a bunch of tractors up here. I'm probably going to do a, an equipment tour video. I mean, I know a lot of you guys won't like farming, but that's kind of too bad. Because that's my lifestyle, so. I'll be doing more siege videos later, but right now we're doing farming. I'm out here on the farm at least two days every week now. at each place two days every week. And we're just going to use the big John Deere and bring this one up to the house so we can look at it. We've been out here since 11 o'clock. Took about an hour to go through the check again with the baler. Get the tractor down here with the baler and start baling. And then he stopped. And we went up here and got my tractor. And that took about 30 minutes to unhook the brush hog, hook up the bale spikes, and get it down here and get me start working. And then, uh, we went in for lunch. And, um, and that took a while. That took like two to three hours because the rest of the family got up here and we were teaching one of them how to use their new pelt, or not pelt gun, uh, BB gun. And uh, David Brown sat for about two to three hours. We got back up here. I took about three to four bales up here. And then we realized that the tractor wasn't starting. So, big John Deere down here, hooked it up. I towed Butch and he's got the tractor started. Yeah, I'm gonna probably store that tractor one day. It's a 1200. just having a bad time today because now that tractor won't start and I ripped my freaking pants just getting down out of it on the cab I gotta walk all the way down there in a butch this isn't a good day right now look at this Rip the freaking crap out of it Uh, I'm just gonna go down to the house and get the four-wheeler. <clears throat> Guess I'll walk all the way down there recording. <sighs> uh, 
Mom isn't gonna like this. These are nice shorts. Well, they aren't now. The bus is driving up here. I think he knows something's wrong. Well, we'll get up here. We'll get the analysis of what's going on. I know how to start it. Like, you have to put in neutral or neutral high low, and it's in there. And then you crank it. It shouldn't need choked right now. The engine's still warm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go need new new pants. That is not good. Well, I'll see ya. But it's a pain about to get in neutral, so it wasn't a neutral. I still ripped my pants. But that right there. Now we're just driving down to the field. Wait for him to move the baler and I'll get no, I'll get the one up in the middle of it. But this thing has taken all day. That problem after problem. Tedding too. Like I ran the tractor out of, out of gas and I broke the tether. I don't know how raking or mowing went because I wasn't the one doing it. I think this is the first time I've ripped my pants while, while doing field work. everyone else borrow their land like we're borrowing this land from uh, Dave Ringer down the road um, and because Butch has all his land fenced in for horses it's hard working out here on the hills of West Virginia Everyone else, they seem to have like big square fields. Uh, big square fields, but and it's flat. It's just really flat. Out here, it isn't. Like, there's three groundhog holes I found in the field already. I don't know how many more. I've been driving a tractor on and off when I was eight years old. And it's pretty fun. It's 
try it sometime. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna be making a siege video soon, hopefully. If I get enough clips to make one. If my Xbox um, app 